And the slaves, they used to love to watch the lazy, shuffling, clowning coons, because you see, they knew there was no reward for hard work, except more work. <laughs> but if you could lazy your way out of some work, you was beating slavery. The only reason they captured you in the first place was so you could work for free. And now you're gonna find a way to beat them back. And the master, he didn't, he didn't know nothing about no lazy slave business. All he knew was if you was too lazy to work, you was also too lazy to stand up and fight for your freedom. You see, that's why the master, he didn't care nothing about no lazy lying coons. So anyway, when I heard that they was looking for some old colored boy to act a fool out in Hollywood, California in the moving pictures, whoa, I was ready. And Lord, Lord, was it pretty out there. The sun was so bright, the streets was white. Palm trees, different from the ones in Florida. No coconuts to be bothered with. <laughs> Nothing to do but sway. And when there wasn't no breeze, didn't even have to do that. <laughs> Trifling trees, my kind of place. <laughs> yeah, well, I got myself as ignorant looking as I could get. You know, I figured there'd be a couple of fellas from the traveling show you know, going up against me. You know, maybe one or two from the circus. But I knew I could whip them. I wasn't even worried about it. See, all I knew was that this here part in the moon picture was for the world's laziest man. And as far as I knew, that was me. <laughs> but just to make sure everybody else knew it, I paid an old boy 35 cents to hitch up his horse and wagon and to drive me on out there with me laying up in the back on top of a pile of hay. And I told him, wake me up as soon as we get to 20th Century Fox. And the way to wake me up was by calling my name out loud, like, like, like he was a huckster selling sweet potatoes fresh out the earth. <laughs> I tell you, it was some this old horse and wagon pulling up to the great gate of 20th Century Fox with this fool sleeping up in the back and the driver shouting, Step in, fetch it! Step in, fetch it! My, my, my. See, I knew I had that part just from coming in like that. <laughs> See, if you're going to be the world's laziest man, you got to think fast and work hard. Yeah. And I knew that when I seen how many of them boys was out there to get that part. Now, remember, I, I figured it'd be just a couple of them. Well, we come through that gate. I took one looking like to die. There must have been a thousand of them. And they was all dressed worse than me. Yeah, some of them was big, but with fat behinds, and there was little narrow tail boys, and they was old and they was young, and some of them wore fool hats, you know, a whole heap of them was bald headed. You know, me, I was both, so I was ready for anything. <laughs> they did the choosing right out there in the yard. You see, they didn't want us inside the building, mm -hmm. which was all right with them barefoot boys, because you see, the ground was so hot. And some of them commenced to hopping up and down to keep their feet from burning, but they turned that hopping into a little dance. And that dance brought them some extra attention. Okay. See, in the studio, the studio people, they'd be wandering around amongst us. And here and there, they, they'd take a name. And them boys, they would do anything to get noticed. Myself, I didn't even look at them people. I just laid up there in that hay wagon. Pretend to be fast asleep and waited for them to come to me. And sure enough, here come the main one calling me. Hey, you! I ain't even look up. <laughs> I'm talking to you! Took me so long to turn around, you could have fried two eggs and ate them. <laughs> and then I said, yeah. mm -hmm. you, 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 you talking to me? Okay. And then he said, well, who do you think I'm talking to? <laughs> Scratch my head a while. Think. <laughs> <Then, laughs> I can't recollect the last time I done that. You know, I, I, I believe it was 11 years ago today, which would have made me uh, 
Eleven years younger than I is yeah. At least I think. Oh Lord, there I goes again. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Captain, bald man, sir. I got to go and have a little talk with my head. <laughs> And then I said, yeah, I done told you about that thing. And if I told you once, I must have done told you 99 times. Captain Bossman don't want no color to hear to be thinking. You understand what I'm saying to you? All you're supposed to do is stay where you at. And wear my hat. <laughs> and I went on like that for so long, to that man, he said, Give that fool the job. <laughs> oh Lord, I was clever. You know, most of them boys give me a round of applause too. Yeah. You know, I found out later, some of them was lawyers and engineers that couldn't get no jobs. That's right. But I got me a job. In a moving picture. Yeah. And in no time at all, I was a Hollywood moving picture star. Thank you.